coming up. It's five. It's ten foot. Right there is a beautiful, beautiful spot right there. Okay, that's one part of the drop off. Now it's dropping off. It's dropping off. Dropping off a little bit more. Okay, folks. I'll tell you what this is all about. This is all about the best way to fish structure in any lake. Whether you're from Connecticut to California, the Carolina rig is just about the best deep water structure thing that there ever was. Let me just show you what I'm going to do here. This is my Carolina rig rod and reel. And I'll explain a little bit about the line. I'll be talk about the leaders and I'll talk about the, all the compliments of it. But for right now, I just dropped a marker. And, and I was looking at my depth finder, and if you notice on the depth finder, well, it's not on the screen anymore, it came up out of 20 feet of water, came right up to about 8 or 9 or 10 feet of water, and dropped back off again. So we're at the very outside edge of this bar. So I put my trolling motor on spot lock. That's the other thing that's really nice about a big bass boat. There's a trolling motor system called the spot lock, and you can hit the spot lock, and it'll automatically hold the boat in this position right here. So that's what I have. I have spot lock on, on the trolling motor, and as it starts drifting around, it's going to make compensations and it's going to steer the boat and it's going to stay right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this Carolina rig. I happen to have a lizard on. Now there's a lot of different lures I'll, I'll talk about today and we'll show you different lures. But for right now, just to kind of show you, I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm going to throw back on the top of the ridge. Now I'm out in deep water now. I'm, out, I'm right now, I'm in 19 feet of water. And feed the line, it just instantly hit at the bottom. It's only four, five, or six feet deep. Okay, wind's blowing, the spot lock's holding. The deal about the Carolina rig is that you drag it, okay? I'm gonna, it's a one ounce weight. I'm gonna pull it along, I'm just gonna drag it along slow and easy. Slow it is, a lot of rocks there, a lot of rocks. Slow and easy. I'm just dragging it slow and easy. You know, I, did, I didn't get a strike that cast, so let me, try, let me doctor it up a little bit. One thing about a Carolina rig, there's just hundreds of different choices of lures to use on this. This happens to be a lizard, but one of the ways that I have to enhance any kind of lure is with a, with a tail die. And this is the spike it day, die, and I'm just going to dip a little bit of the tail in the water just a tad. Now that doesn't look like much, but I want to just show you in the water how how that stands out. That thing is really it really holds it up. Really holds it. If you notice the if you notice now, I dipped that tail just a little bit. Look at that tail. Look how look how bright it is. It's really nice and bright. That chartreuse really to look at it just in the in the light, it doesn't look like it's doing much, but in the water, it really really stands out. Okay, now. Make another cast. Oh, there's a strike. There's a strike, there's a strike. Okay. Okay, son, that's what we're talking about. Now we're talking, we're talking about big fish. Yes, sir. Now you notice I didn't set the hook real hard. I put it back on spot lock. It's a real big fish. It's a real big one. It's a real big one. This is what this is the kind of fish that you catch with the Carolina rig, okay? It's the kind of fish that you catch, really big one, nice, 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 nice size, one. nice size one, nice size one, nice size one. Okay, just kind of ease up with it. You notice I didn't really slam the hook all that hard. He's a good one though. Beautiful, beautiful bass. That's what we're talking about. Big old giant fish like this. Yes, sir. Oop. <laughs> there we go, boys. That's what we're talking about. That is the quality fish you're going to catch offshore. And again, that lizard with that chartreuse tail, that did it. And you know, that, the beautiful thing about this, I like to look at fish. And I like to look at their mouth and see if they've been caught before. And I'm looking at his mouth right now. I can't see any marks where he's been caught before. Big five or six pounder like this. Anyway, that's what we're talking about. Now, I got it on spot lock. I'm gonna let this fish go. 
right here. I'm going to take my Carolina rig and we'll see if there's not another one there. That's what we're talking about. Big old giant fish. You know, I, I'm a sucker for big fish. I know there's a lot of people that say, I just want to catch a lot of fish. I don't care about catching a lot of fish. I care about catching a few big ones like that last one. That's my, 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 whole, my whole deal in bass fishing is try to catch quality fish. I know some people say, oh, I'd rather catch a hundred little ones. Well, okay, that's fine. You want to catch a hundred little ones. That's, you can do that too. Whole different ball game. You're not going to catch a hundred little ones doing this. <laughs> You're going to catch some big ones. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I just threw then. I was just kind of pulling along there and I, I actually threw and I pulled my marker up so I don't have my marker down, but I've had the marker out. Okay. So where that last fish hit was about right there. Okay. One sec, two sec, three sec. Four seconds. Okay, I'm, I'm four or five seconds. I'm just over the hill. The shallow water. I'm going to be dragging it up that up that up that drop off. I'm going to be dragging it up the drop off. Dragging it up. And you see, when you're pulling hard like this, you can feel it really digging in on the on the side. It's 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 over the other side of the of the little hump right here. Dragging it up. Let's see if he will take that again. Come on, bass. You know, when, when they bite it, like that, that big one just bit, it's not a terribly hard strike. Because see, you got that leader and that one ounce weight's here, so he's, he's hitting it maybe running over this way. You don't feel a lot. You don't feel, you just feel a funny little tug, you know? You just really have to be a line watcher and really feel with that braided line. And when they take it, you just kind of feel a surge. It's not, it's not like a real hard strike because of that leader. And so you don't feel a bump, you know, it's just not, you don't feel that kind of a strike. You just have to just be real aware now, because see, a lot of people, here's one little downfall. One downfall with Carolina rigs, if people aren't sure of the strike, they'll wait too long. And sometimes the fish swallows the, the worm, and that's a bad deal. You don't want to kill fish. I'm doing a catch and release on today's program, as it was, I do all the time, and I don't like to let them take it very long. So it's important to really kind of feel for the strike. And when you feel the strike, set up on them pretty quick. Don't, don't, don't wait that very long. Now, okay, here's a case in point. I've caught one, and I don't know if there's a school of fish there or not, but just in case there might be a school of fish, it's always a good idea to change your worms and change your colors around. It's a perfect time to do it. We caught that one big one. Okay, boy, look at this. I'm going to try one of these worms right here. This tricolored worm is really pretty. Look at that pink tail. There's little blue spots on it. It's kind of a green pumpkin. I don't know what color that is. That's crazy. Okay, let's, let's show you the rig that I'm using right here. It's really, really kind of characteristic. It's pretty standard, but it's important to have all this information. Okay, that is, I'm fishing in Florida. This is fairly heavy tackle, so I'm going to use a heavy-duty hook. This is a Superline hook. This is a 4 aught EWG Superline hook. That means that it's a strong. I mean, you could put a lot of pressure on a 30-pound line or so. And for a line, this first little two and a half, three feet of leader is 20-pound test fluorocarbon. That's 20-pound test fluorocarbon. That's pretty stout, okay? Now we're coming to a swivel. Now look at that swivel. That is a big-time deal. When you buy swivels, Swivels have a rating. This one is rated, I think it's 65 pound test. I'm going to get the swivel out of this box just to see. It says 65 pound test right there on the, on the back. So buy a quality swivel that has the rating. Don't just buy an old cheap swivel that's small like that because it's liable to only be 10 or 15 or 20 pound test and it'll break on you. So, so get a, a rated swivel, okay? Now, we're coming up the line a little farther. We come up the line past the 65 pound test swivel. And now we're into a bead system. That's beads kind of traditional. I, I can't tell you for sure all, all why a bead is so important. Some people say, well, it protects the line from fraying. And I don't have to admit, if, if I look at that line real close, look at that. It looks kind of frayed a little bit right there. So. That 
see this tungsten weight. That's a one ounce tungsten weight. It slides up and down. It's kind of it's kind of wearing on the line. If you notice, it is kind of wearing that line out right there. This is 50 pound braid. So, just to be kind of cautious, I'm just going to take this whole setup and I'm going to retie. I'm going to throw throw this marker out. Good looking marker right there. That's a good looking structure. See if I can't get something going on this thing. I'm gonna hit a spot lock. Nice little ledge is this it's right there. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Okay. I got a strike, I got a strike. I got a strike, I got one, I got one, I got one. Yes sir, yes sir, I got one. If he doesn't get in that marker, I think he's just past the marker. Where'd he go? There you go, he's a good one. He just passed the marker. If he doesn't get wrapped in the marker, he's a good one. Nice bass. Ha 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 son. Hey, that was cool. We saw it on the depth finder, saw a nice little drop off here. Made a long cast of the Carolina rig. Got a pretty good fish on. Not bad. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. And that was on the 297 green pumpkin. Okay. Huh. Well, it's not real big. Not a bad bass. No bass are bad bass. All bass are good bass. <laughs> Some are just bigger than others <laughs> to make them even better. Okay, he, he uh, I, again, I don't think that has ever been hooked before. Just a couple pounds. But I'm going to go ahead and put the 297 back on. And uh, I got it right here. I get these things in bulk from Yamamoto. I know a guy. <laughs> Gary, Gary sends me these bulky worms. They're kind of seconds and everything else. They don't get packaged right or they get crooked or something. I can't really see anything wrong with them. That was got It kind of bends a little bit. Okay, big deal. <laughs> but uh, they, they, unless the worm is perfect, they're, they're not going to sell it. They're going to put it in another bag and give it to some of their pro staff guys like myself and Larry Nixon and Brett Height. Anyway, we, we get plenty of good worms, though. Okay, so right past that marker again. He hit right out there. See what happens. Come on, let's see if there's a school here. That's the deal. You don't always find schools of fish, but you got you, that's that's the goal. Where the goal is maybe maybe there's a school of fish here. Oh, it's right. There's a strike. There's a strike. can't tell. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty good one. Good one, big one, big one. Big, big, big bass. Big bass. Whoo, son. On a Carolina rig, son. That's what we're talking about. Oh, son. That's big old bass. Now we're talking. Whoo. Big old bass. Look at this guy. Now we're talking. Huh? Woo! Yes, sir. <laughs> big old giant bass. Come back here and land this thing. Big old fish. <laughs> Folks, I tell you what, you come down to Florida or any lake for that matter and fish these Carolina rigs the right way, and you're gonna catch monster bass like this. That's the kind of fish you catch. Big five, six, seven, eight pound bass. Whoa! That's what it's all about. On my favorite worm. My favorite worm. You know, I'm gonna, I, might, I might weigh that thing. Okay, there he is, six pounds, six ounces. Six pounds, six ounces. That isn't bad. That's a good one, son. I'm gonna take a picture of him. Okay, folks. We're right back in the same spot. I'm gonna take my, turn my phone off.
but need those shots, need those. Oh, look, put them back in the water, son. Beautiful, beautiful. Almost a seven pound bass. And that's the kind of fish you catch on a Carolina rig. See if there's another one out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was a good one. <laughs> Did you see that one, folks? That was another seven or eight pound bass. I just lost it. Son of a gun. Wow, what a fish. Wow, what a fish. I just lost it. It just jumped off. They don't always jump off. That one jumped off. Oh, a big seven or eight pounder. Did you see it on camera? Did you? Anyway, we've had a great time, but maybe there's not a school of fish here. But the Carolina rig, in the long run, is one of the best lures for the deep water fishing. From Connecticut to California, anytime you have a good depth finder and a good offshore uh, map to, to be able to spot these drop-offs, to be able to spot these underwater islands, fishing brush piles, fishing creek channels, fi fishing any number of structures, you can catch them with the Carolina rig. And there's a lot of different choices in worms. As long as you set it up right with plenty of heavy tackle like I'm doing today, Hey, you'll catch some fish too. Hey, folks, I really enjoy doing these YouTube videos. It's just a, it's just a blast. And thanks for subscribing. My su subscriptions are up pretty high. I'm happy with that. And just thanks a million for just all your support. So we'll see you again soon.